Okay, I was asked a question about cancelling things and cancelling in a general way as opposed to cancelling in a specific way. Like, um, uh, with um, one of the things is like if you've got a, if, you, if, if there's a belief system within the ego, um, like let's say I had the belief um, in uh, kidney failure, um, then I could do the cancellation, I cancel bad health. I'm an infinite being, I cancel bad health, I'm an infinite being, and that will work. But it would probably be a lot slower than saying I cancel my belief in kidney failure, because um, that's the specific thing that comes in. But generally speaking, also doing general uh, cancellations can also be very good. You know, they can be like wholesale things of disengaging from the ego and even entering into thought. So in that way, and especially with something like obsessive thinking, like a general, a general repeated cancellation would be very good. You know, because otherwise uh, with obsessive thinking you could get into, am I doing it right or do I need to get a specific thing for this situation? Let me think about how to get the right specific thing for this situation for 10 minutes. Oh, okay, I think that's the perfect specific one. And then, oh, but there's this other situation that we think about getting the perfect. So it tends to be, you tend to be more in the obsession on how to get it right, specifically for the situation. So with obsessive thinking, it's a general thing. You know, like free, uh, anxiety is like a general thing. Well, I'm anxious this will happen, I'm anxious that will happen. So yes, something like, you know, I cancel my belief in obsessive thinking. I'm an infinite being and do that regularly. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm sure if you, even if you did it very regularly, it would be very good. You know, so if you did it like non-stop, uh, it would have an effect because it's at a high, you know, cancel my belief in obsessive thinking, I'm an infinite being. I cancel my belief in, uh, and I know, like I used to do the Lord's Prayer before, um, and any time I would do it so fast that I had no time to have negative thoughts, I'd always have spectacular miracles. So it can be a thing of, because basically you're saying, I cancel, like I cancel my need to obsessively think. I'm an infinite being. So you're saying, like, I don't need that. You know, it's just okay to be infinite. It's okay to be at peace. It's okay to be present. You know, it's not needed. And so that's like almost like eventually it's cutting off the energy supply to compete. So I de definitely with a, in this area of obsessive thinking, uh, yes, a general one can be very good. Um, you know, with people who have specific medical diagnoses, um, you know, I'll often say you're going to make headway if you just... Often the, the, medical, the medical diagnosis, you know, uh, are often very good to counsel. And if you know something about the medical pathways, they're also very good to counsel. Because you, as soon as you take on a diagnosis, you're like, it's almost like you're plugging into the collective consciousness and you're picking up how to express that whole system. You're even picking up how, you know, like, okay, gout. So even though the doctor didn't say this, it means that if you eat a lot of, a lot of meat in a single thing, then that means you should have high uric acid levels and get a gout attack in your feet. Now, you know, so if I cancel, and the main indicator of the medical thing, the uric acid levels, so I'm going to cancel my belief in gout, I'm going to cancel my belief in high uric acid levels, I'm going to cancel my belief that if I eat a whole chicken, <laughs> which I used to do, as a little eater, that I won't, I won't end up limping for the rest of the day because I've got a gout attack. So you just can, you know, you can cancel the sub-things, but generally with obsessive thinking, just a general simple one I think is a good idea. Thank you.